Hey, it's nice to be back again. Uh, let's talk about RSS. We've learned some really cool Web 2.0 stuff so far, yeah? And RSS allows us to pull all that together into what we call aggregation. You can put all the content you have produced and all the content you want to see available on the web in one place. RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. Now, there's no reason you should ever need to know what it stands for, but if somebody asks you, now you can tell them, and you can look pretty cool, at least in the nerd world. While it may not be all that important to know what RSS means, it is useful to understand how it works. RSS allows you to subscribe to content on the web, lots of different content, and this includes websites, calendars, blogs, you should have made some by now, videos, Facebook, where one billion people hang out, photo sharing sites like Flickr, uh, online document collaboration sites, which you should have already done by now, such as Google Docs, delicious accounts. You know, I subscribe to all my students' delicious accounts, and in one place, I can see exactly what they're bookmarking. Podcasts, TV shows, yes, you can subscribe to TV shows. Just don't tell the TV show producers about that. Email, on and on and on. RSS's only limit is your creativity, but you need a feed reader or a feed aggregator to pull it all together. In other words, you need one place that you can see everything. iGoogle and NetVibes are popular for doing that. And you have to subscribe then to most of your favorite content so that it all does live in this one place. And then, no more browsing from page to page. How cool is that? Enjoy RSS.